Hey there, it's Dr. Crypto here, and I hope everybody has had a fantastic weekend and all geared up for this very, very important week ahead in terms of the financial market, especially in the USA. Uh, because don't forget, we've got the FOMC meeting with Jerome Powell happening this week. So before I start, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated. So I've also been asked as well, like, you know, what are the coins I've accumulated over this uh, bear market that we've had and any of these drops we've been getting? So I'll do, I've done a quick list of the projects that I've actually been accumulating uh like i said over the bear market and over these drops so but like i said at the moment we've got bitcoin sitting at forty two thousand two hundred and fifty three dollars with a market cap of 1.63 trillion dollars at the moment and we can see here on the bubbles we can see here it's a bit of a mixture really this is on today Arexia sui is up 5.98 percent cfx up 10 percent sats up five percent it's a bit of a mixed bag at the moment and we've got pulse x at 11 percent and mantra up 5.6 percent and we can look on the month uh, pulse x 174 percent not bad at all with x 67 percent and pulse x at 97 pulse i mean 96 percent so yeah so if you were holding any of these congratulations to you you made a bag of money uh and that so yeah but like i said in the moment bitcoin bitcoin yeah on the daily this is basically we've we dropped down through this channel here but we've regained ourselves back going back up to forty two thousand. so we came to basically to the low here of 38,539 and made us way back up. So we're finding this uh, between the 40s and 42s, uh, quite a strong area at the moment. So we came overboard on the daily uh, and then we've come up, we're gradually coming up to that oversold, but that it doesn't really mean much really. You could come up oversold for quite a while before coming back down again. And we did close up that CME gap as well. So, yeah, it's all looking really good at the moment. Bitcoin is looking really, really strong. And we can see sentiment at the moment isn't in... If I can remove this ad, uh, the sentiment is really, really, it's not in fear or anything like that. It's agreed still. It's at 55. We went neutral. So we've been a bit too neutral and greed at the moment. Sort of was expecting that we might get some fear coming in. But, uh, you know, with the grayscale dumping and, and such like, but we haven't really. It's actually the sentiment is really acted really strong. Uh, so I'm, I'm really am anticipating, are we going to get a bit of a drop at some point prior to the Bitcoin halving, which don't forget in the next couple of months will be happening. So do you think we're going to get a pre halving dump? And do you think we're going to get into that fear let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and your opinions are of that my thought is that we probably are going to get that that pre-halving dump but history doesn't always repeat itself we'll put it that way and we can see here at the moment on the rainbow charts we're just basically still in that accumulation from all the other videos i've been tuning in the past week that's all it's been it's just accumulation we're very close to that buy but we're still on that cusp of that edge of the buy zone so but we're in accumulation at the moment and do not forget as i mentioned we've got the fomc meeting and that is happening on thursday the february the first where jerome powell will give his decision obviously the the meeting they're going to have will vote do a vote potentially vote on it of what they're going to do are they holding are they reducing or are they upping so no doubt that's going to bring in a lot of volatility and don't forget we've got the job openings so everything that's coming on these uh, the job openings and such like is all going to come down to their decision which they're going to make so obviously that's going to be a really big catalyst and on friday we've got the earnings uh and then and this is the united states by the way employment is a non-farm employment change unemployment rate and revised uome consumer sentiment so we're going to find out what's been going out going on on that one so keep a very close eye on that and if you are leverage trading or something like that be very very cautious have those stop losses in place because you know a lot of people won't trade it because it's that high volatility it can get you wicky out and, and such like but people have been saying to me what what have you been accumulating over this uh, bear market and over these big dumps i don't accumulate on little little dumps or anything else well, if you get like bitcoin dropping down five or ten percent and note coins are dropping down twenty percent that's when i saw start accumulating but one of the biggest gaming projects that i have been accumulating is vulcan forged vulcan forged is one of my faves uh reason being is is because they've just been absolutely building uh, through this bear market and they've, they've got amazing games Vulcan First, Berserker, Vulcan, Vulcan 11, Tower Defense and many many more where you can actually play it, download it uh, on your PC or you could go play, actually play it on your um, 
on your uh, mobile phone. So, but it, it's not just everything they're doing. They've got the Elysium as well. The Elysium they've been building out on. So the Elysium is, is like a carbon neutral. It's empowering AI and metaverse and gaming potential with lightning fast transaction speed, unprecedented scalability. Elysium is optimized for your game, NFT, AI, and metaverse project. And they're starting to get people building on that. So it's like I said, it's not just about being a gaming studio Vulcan. It's, it's about it's also creating, like I said, the Elysium. And do not forget, we've also got like Metascapes, which is coming out. So which is going to be, yeah, where you can go like in an economy, basically on this metaverse where you can go and build whatever you want. Whatever you want to build on sci-fi world, cartoon world, fantasy world, modern world, you know, anything like that, you can build an e-commerce on there. So this is coming out. This is really, really exciting. And this is why I'm getting at it. It's not just about games and, and things like that. It's about, it's what they're building, what they've been creating over this bull market, over this bear market and this bull market. They just haven't been stopping. And with just a crazy market cap, this is, after my, this is really, really undervalued in my personal opinion. Really undervalued for what they do. They've got Scaramucci, who's basically one of their big backers on that. Jamie Thompson, who is the CEO of Vulcan Forge. He is an amazing. He's he's there with the community all the time, always giving updates. You can go onto the Discord and follow him on there and Twitter, follow Vulcan Forge and Jamie Thompson on there. But like I said, it's just a bulky cap of 157 billion. What could they get up to? You know, they've got actually quite a lot of room for some major growth to happen. And we're getting a lot of people, a lot of these bigger um influencers who are starting to talk a lot about them. But for me, if you want to get if you want to have a bit of a gaming pack stash. Vulcan Forge is definitely one of those ones to look at. And then also another one what got really mega hit in this uh, bear market that we had is obviously Gala Games. Gala Games is another one which I have been accumulating. And basically, they're at the moment at a roundabout of a market cap of 638 million. So look, like I said, when you look at Gala, where they are at the moment at 638 uh, million dollars and you look at Vulcan Forge at 157 million dollars you can see the kind of room that Vulcan Forge has got but Gala Games you know they really had a mega mega dump over this bear market uh, I think it was around about yeah they came down if we're going all at the moment look at that look where we are now from where we were in the top of the bull market we've really 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 come down on that one so for me it's this is like now it's been a, of accumulation for me because they've got like new games coming out they've got gala music champions arena you know gala chain this is another thing i'm not going to get into mega detail it's worth just checking it out yourself but gala chain isn't really been spoken about too much i've not really seen many people talking about gala chain but there is a gala chain out there where people are building and don't forget they've got things like gala film as well spider tanks they've got a plethora of games external paradox and they've got echo empire and like I said, you've got the Gala music, which is new. We've got Snoop Dogg on there. So this is going to be great, especially actually for these newer, newer art game uh, music artists who want to get out there and start building and they can come on to Gala music. And I think they've got a Gala music token as well. Uh, it's worth checking out there. But for me, they've been building, they're building a lot and they've got to, and they're starting to really gear themselves up now uh, for this bull market because they're going to have to. But Gala Music, something that's going to be a big catalyst for them. And, and another one project that I've been um, basically accumulating on is basically um, Beam. Beam is, Beam is like one of those crazy ones at the moment which is basically, if I just go back on this one, and we can see here, Beam is sitting at currently at $945 million, very close to a billion dollars in market cap, more than Gala. But like I said, look where Vulcan Forge is compared to Beam. Beam is just really, really uh, shot up, uh, sort of an offshoot from Merit Circle. Uh, and we can see here, Beam is basically a privacy-centric crypto-powered 
member Wimble protocol. It is a blockchain crypto that offers a complete, private, and confident trading crypto assets and storage. The Beam token serves as a native crypto asset Beam network, a gaming network empowered by the Merit Circle DAO. The project is evolved in acquiring new features such as DEX, atomic swaps, smart contract sh shades. Uh, they're already available with all increased privacy. So, like I said, brilliant building on the gaming uh, aspects of it. So, yeah, this is a, a new project. Yes, it has come from Merit Circle, but overall, a fairly new. Uh, basically, we're in price discovery at the moment. You know, so <laughs> lots going on there. There's there's lots of exciting, and I really do think this could really really explode in this bull market. It's uh, yeah yeah really do. It's worth checking it out. Another one uh, that I have actually been accumulating, uh, and that is Katana Inu. That's, uh, yeah, so base basically Katana Inu uh, promotes gaming innovation by effective merger to revolution. So this is a new game, and the graphics on this are absolutely amazing. You go on their website, check out the graphics on it, because at the end of the day, I'm a gamer, and this is why I'm accumulating a lot of gaming projects, because I like playing games that are fun, games that have smart, really, really quality graphics, and where you start getting people getting involved. And that's like with Vulcan Force, a lot of big community. Uh, and then we've got Katana in you as well, getting there with big community. It's basically an inch on multiplayer. It's free to play, earn game featuring fast paced sword, sword and spell fighting. The game is set in a third person perspective, immersing plays in a fast paced combat. You know, so this, basically has got a long way to go in terms of price action uh, and also building you know so you can actually play it for free it doesn't cost you anything like that but in terms of um katana in you long way to go and this is in term, my terms is going to make hopefully a lot of money so you know they're doing a lot of things worth checking it out and not forgetting i've been accumulating as you know CRO. I've been accumulating that. that. This is a project. I don't need to get into too much detail about this because I've done lots of videos on it. It's a project I really do think it's going to go $1 plus. Not a problem at all in this bull market. Everything the crypto.com. Kronos is a new it's a new ecosystem that has unfortunately came into the, like, the end of the bull market and has been enduring the the bear market which is basically has made it tried and tested it survived uh, crypto.com has survived all the fraud uh, and there's all the earns and all the the new incentives are all coming back and it's all getting you know, excited stuff for crow uh, so and they start to get a lot of people talking about it now starting to get a lot of these bigger influencers talking about it uh, and that so we've also but you can see on here just go to the website for chronos.org gives you all the information i think this is easy going to go over a dollar one dollar between one dollar and three dollars i'm not going to give a pacific because i can't be 100 but i really do think we're going over a dollar upwards and that's my opinion uh and that so but also we've got our beautiful tectonic tectonic is a, is a project that i've been building uh tectonic is a cross-chain money market it earns passive yield uh and it's basically accessing instant back loans on the chronos and a platform for DeFi applications uh, and basically, Tectonic is obviously powered by Tonic. Tonic is a native token. Tonic, like CRO, and many, 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 many other coins, it basically just took, as you can see here, just took an absolutely, <laughs> yeah, a massive hit. Absolute dower spiral. But you can see here where it is actually in accumulation area, in my opinion. I've been accumulating like this crazy billions and billions I've got of this. Uh, and hopefully this bull market, and if CRO does well, te uh, Tectonic tonic is going to do well as well. A big accumulation for me. And basically all of these projects that have been just mentioned are big accumulation for me i've been you know i've been accumulating non-stop you know if you get any big dumps now i'll accumulate where i can where i've got the funds to do that uh like i said i never put any of me other money in it's all the money that i've got to one side which has just been dedicated to accumulation so that's where i am that's what i've been accumulating um I, one I did miss actually uh, is Bonk and Pepe. I've got a very small bags in them. I don't need to go into too much details. And I've got very small bags in that, you know, because you just don't know what they might do. They might end up doing a, a 50x or something like that. But, you know, if it goes to zero, it goes to zero. I'm not going to cry over it. Uh, and that's so I thought I'll do this quick video. 
uh, gives like I said, gives a thumbs up, gives a subscribe. But you know, it gives a thumbs down if you don't like what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, be careful out there. Thursday is to watch. Volatility is going to come in on that day uh, for every, all the markets, uh, especially when Jerome Powell starts speaking. He's a market mover, so be prepared and be careful out there. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care.